Coming up on this episode of The Living Flip, we're making a custom removable bookcase on wheels that acts like a door to their Harry Potter room, aka the storage area under the steps. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl working for a mouse. They fell in love and realized they'd never own their own home working for the mouse. So they packed up a big truck and moved to New Jersey, lived in a basement to save money for a year, and bought a foreclosure to fix up while they lived there. This is their story. When Julie and Josh first bought this house, there was a little door under the steps leading into a space that was carpeted. This looks like it was carpeted, <laughs> I don't know, in the 70s, as a play area underneath the steps. It's a really good storage area. Look what I found in the wall there. Poor kid probably dropped it and it got stuck. It kind of looks a little like Josh. Huh. And this doorway here has to be moved because this is going to be inside the, I guess you could say in the back of the drop zone. So this little access way is going to get moved over to here. So that's why I took the sheetrock off. We built a wall to support the steps and then we created a drop zone to cover up that old doorway. So we had to move it to the other side of the wall. While we were working on the railing in episode 41, you can see the storage access is a gaping hole in the beginning of the video. But a keen eye might have noticed that the bookcase magically appeared in the final pictures at the end. We started by taking measurements of the opening, as well as the size of an average book. The books weren't very deep, so we would use 1x8 clear pine boards for this little bookcase. I moved last summer and I don't have a workshop in my new house. So Josh gladly took my table saw, among other things, and this was a great little woodworking project to show him how to use it. First, I showed him how to cut the pieces to length using the T-square. Okay, you don't have to go too far, just as long as it's out of the way. Then we installed a dado blade to cut wide slots in the sides to accept the shelves. Dado joints are very strong and a great choice for bookcases. These shelves will be able to support a lot of books. After Josh finished the sanding, Julie painted the sides white and she stained the shelves ebony to match the drop zone. I drilled pilot holes along each dado using a countersink drill bit. Then we assembled everything with wood glue and screws. I better do it on there. <laughs> yes. Now, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. It was a challenge to get the shelves into the dados on the second That's side. The side That's the there it is. Okay. Yeah. The middles are good. So. Side, because this one. Yeah. The one on the top has more shoes. The back was made from a quarter-inch piece of plywood, pre-painted white on one side, and it was attached with brads. Casters on the bottom would allow the bookcase to roll on the floor. This was much easier than hinging it like a door, and this way it could roll completely out of the way.
<laughs> Every time I touch it, it moves. <laughs> I frame the bookcase with a door casing on the top and sides. The bottom trim is a piece of baseboard, which is shimmed off the floor a little so it doesn't rub. Nice. Mm -hmm. And it looks so good. <laughs> We've done so much to this house already, but there's a lot more to come. So be sure to subscribe and watch every episode of The Living Flip.